She was at President Trump's rally on the ellipse yeah. the morning of January 6th. She said she did not go on to the Capitol ahead of the riot, but she was right there in every possible effort to overturn this election, the wife of a sitting Supreme Court justice. Yeah, and let me just say, are Democrats talking about impeachment or are people talking about crimes coming out of this? Just take a deep breath. What we've learned is justice will not be served when it comes to Donald Trump. It just won't. I don't know why. I don't know why the Justice Department won't walk through that door and actually hold him accountable. I don't know what happened in, in Manhattan. I, under, I, I sure know that the prosecutors, and we didn't report about this because, well, we've got a war going on. We're on the verge of World War III, but you have a prosecutor who quit the case up in Manhattan because he said what we all know. We all know this, too. Donald Trump's guilty of multiple crimes. Now, if you're out there writing columns saying that this is a witch hunt, you don't know Donald Trump. Donald Trump hyperinflated the value of his assets his entire life. He lied to banks about it, 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 it is the testimony. He lied, to, he lied to everybody about it. Has long been the opinion of everybody that's ever known him or been around him. And it seems that the facts bear that out. Certainly the prosecutor thought that, but guess what? Once again, Donald Trump escapes justice. So, mm. so if you're sitting here reading this story thinking that actually justice will be served against these people who tried to overthrow American democracy, we found out that this Justice Department is not interested in doing that. We found out Merrick Garland's not interested in serving up justice because somebody somewhere might think, oh my God, there's a political angle to this. Are you kidding me? This after that guy that's on the screen right now spent four years trying to break down the wall between the White House and the Justice Department, the White House and the FBI, the White House and the Intel services. And now we have an attorney general that won't even bring charges when crimes are committed. We have a we, we, we have a DA in in Manhattan that won't even bring charges when his own prosecutors who have been on this case a long time said he's committed multiple crimes. It's just not gonna happen. In this case, Mika, it's not gonna happen either. And that's all a very long prelude to say this. Even if no charges are ever brought even if there's no disciplinary actions ever taken in this case. This Woodward story uh, and Costa story, these texts, these exchanges serve as the most damning indictment against the Trump White House that we have seen so far. And Mark Meadows makes it very clear that he is going to use the shield of Jesus Christ. Oh, what a, what a righteous man to overturn American democracy and prosecutors. I don't know if intent still matters at the Justice Department, but if it does, he says in his text that the mission of his life will be overturning a fair and free democratic American election. Let Wonderful. that sink in for a second, guys, gals, and tell me whether there's intent there to subvert American democracy. Well, we know how this story's gonna end. Everybody's gonna walk. The bad guys always get away in the Trump administration. They will here as well. It's just, it's unfortunately, the whole American belief that no man is above the law that doesn't apply to Donald Trump. We don't know why. It just doesn't. But again, this story in and of itself, Mika, yeah. these texts, they indict all of them as un-American, unpatriotic seditioners. End of story.